Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So, Hall of Famer Andre S.O.G. Ward came at the WBC. Uh, and I actually missed this article from last week. He went, He actually had the issue with Francis Ngangu being ranked in the top 10 in the WBC ranking system. Let me tell you what Andre Ward said. You got guys that have been laboring to get into that top 10. I'm going to call it what it is. It's like politics. That's what it is with the sanctioning bodies. Uh, Mauricio Suleiman gets all in an uproar when I talk about these things. He wants to message me on WhatsApp and he needs to stop messaging me and make sure he's doing the right thing by the company. You don't get to pick and choose which guy in the rankings, depending on who you know or what's going on in the back room. And Goggle did a great job. But that's a one-off. He has to establish himself. They do whatever they want. The problem that I have with that, if we're if we weren't paying them three percent to keep the company going, you don't make money outside of what the fighters are paying you. If we weren't paying that, you do what you want to do. If you just want to. If you just want to have these these rankings and it doesn't really affect the fighters, that's your business. This stuff affects guys' lively, livelihoods. livelihoods. Guys get phone calls saying, hey, man, we're getting close to that title shot. We're not going to get it now because they bumped you out of the top 10. How? I've been played around with the rankings and I just gave the belt back to the WBC at a certain time. War entered in a note of no respect for the sanction of bodies. Now, I've been screaming, and we as a collective have been screaming, it's too many belts, it's too many rules, it's too much corruption with the sanction of bodies, right? WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO. They all pick and choose what they want, especially the WBC, which is crazy. Everybody wants that green belt. Well, Suleiman, father was one of the original people of the WBC. And they really pick and choose. And I'll give you a prime example. Remember, they made, they made Canelo a franchise champion out of the blue. Nobody ever heard of it. Just so he wouldn't have to fight his mandatory. They made Lomachenko a franchise title just, cause De just so he wouldn't have to fight Devin Haney. But then they said a franchise title isn't a real belt. But then when Tiafima Lopez beats Devin Haney, he's the WBC franchise champion. These belts, all of them, I could break down each one. They literally pick and choose what they want to do on the fly. And they expect us fans and even the fighters to be okay with that. And guess what? If the fighters just all gave those belts away, they wouldn't mean anything. They really wouldn't. Did they, did, it's, it's hard to get them to fight for Undisputed or somebody like Terrence Crawford gets a belt and they immediately want him to fight a mandatory. He gets stripped. And then, and that's for the IBF, but for the WBC, like I said, Suleiman, you force some people to fight their mandatories, but then Jamal Charlo is out of the ring for three years and comes back and he doesn't have to defend his belt immediately. There is no standard rules when it comes to the sanctioning bodies with these belts. And then, like I said, you have the the WBC title. But then you got the interim title, the franchise title, the European title, the Super Nintendo title. Same thing with the WBO. Same thing with the IBF. The IBF right now, you can be an IBF champion, but then you be the super champion. And this is why boxing where it's at. This is why UFC is taking over. Now, boxing does potentially have the chance to get back. But I stick with Andre Ward. Forget them belts, man. I understand why he gave up his WBC belt at one point. Because it ain't even worth it. I'm paying you 3% to be in your rankings. But then you, Francis Ngongo, who had no boxing experience, he gets in one fight. And he's top 10? Really? 
But then they don't want you to speak out about stuff like that. And honestly, and shout out to 70, I seen he made a video a long time ago. Just like the WWE back in the day, they had the what the world title, the intercontinental title, the TV title, and all those other tag team belts. Boxing tried to do that same thing, but it really messed up the sport because you really don't know who's what. It's rare that you see undisputed outside of recently. You can have four different champions in a in a different weight class, and they don't fight each other. But shout out to Andre Ward, man. Salute to him on that. I 100% stand by with him. Boxing is corrupt, and it's always been like that, honestly. But that's just my two cents on it. What y'all think?